Hi nerds, welcome back and welcome to Alfie's DNA results. It's only been about two weeks since I sent off my sample. I was not expecting this to be done so quickly, but yesterday I got an email from Wisdom Panel saying that the results are in and I haven't actually looked at these yet. My other half was really curious and was like, can I see them? And I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. And I was a little bit curious. I asked him, oh, is there this in him? Is there that in him? And he was like, yep, yeah, okay, yeah, there's this, there's not that he's healthy and that's you know the main point I had with these tests so this time round with wisdom panel I didn't actually include a picture of Alfie on the website and if you don't know who Alfie is I will just link the introduction video up the top and in the description below so you can go and have a look but basically this is Alfie he kind of looks like an Ewok from Star Wars and that kind of got me on a little bit of a tailspin with him because Ewoks are based on Shih Tzus and I'm like well is there Shih Tzu in him? There's definitely Pomeranian in him looking at him. I would say maybe Orky could be Shih Tzu, we don't know. Basically Alfie's Fostra said that he's a Pomeranian cross Yorkie but basically when I got the microchip details from Battersea it actually says Maltese cross Poodle in Alfie's details and I was like well it's definitely not that. Maybe the Maltese but definitely not the Poodle. I just can't see it happening but I have got the results right in front of me I'm dying to get into this so let's have a look what we can find okay so I have got my profile here so you can see I've already got Bean here and I made the mistake of putting Bean's picture into the profile before I got the results so obviously they could have drawn from that I doubt that they did but with Alfie I've just left it completely blank so we'll see what it actually shows up interesting Okay, yeah, I, I would say these results make a lot of sense. So 51% is Pomeranian, so I would say one of the parents is a Pom, and then it's a Maltese cross. Ha! Huh. So not a single Yorkie, not a single Poodle was, was used to make Alfie. Okay, so a little bit of Shih Tzu. That's not what I was expecting, if I'm completely honest. That's so cool. Okay, let's have a quick look at the results there's 2% whip it in him <laughs> I'd love to see where that is in him amazing okay so let's have a little browse okay yep yeah, yeah I would say that makes a lot of sense so he's Pomeranian all the way down on one side and then the other side is a Maltese mix so this side must be all the smattering of breeds that's in Alfie and then obviously that side is just pure Maltese. I would say that explains a lot of Alfie's coat. It's really fine, it's quite silky, but I've come to the conclusion that you can't clip his coat. It's just not gonna be one of those coats. So we've just been brushing him, maintaining it, making sure that you know his feet are nice and tidy and everything like that. But yeah, I, I was hoping that I could clip him, but I don't think it's gonna happen. There's just so much pom in him. But on the other side, like Maltese can be clipped and so on. But yeah, I don't think it's worth the risk somehow. Right, let's see if he's got any relatives on here. Um, oh, extended. Yeah, so he's got extended family like Bean did as well. Bean doesn't have any relatives, like Klaus relatives on Wisdom Panel, which is which is fine. I don't, I don't mind it. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so you're definitely more of a Shih Tzu cross. You're some kind of Maltese cross cross and oh you're a palm cross fox you're very cute okay awesome so the main thing with this panel i got it's the more expensive one with the dna and the health testing i really wanted to have a look at the health of alfie because obviously he's a crossbreed and he's a rescue as well i have no idea who his parents are or any of the other lineage so i just wanted to make sure that there's nothing that we should be worried about long term with him which by the looks of it we're all in the clear all the markers are absolutely fine so this one tests for any genetic health predispositions so anything that he might come up with in later life it doesn't mean that he would even if he did have some of the markers but this just is a bit of peace of mind it's just really nice to know that he's healthy from that point of view and if you were curious about your own dog and what they kind of measure for it does come up with like a really good list of everything so if you want a lot of good reading the health testing with wisdom panel is really good and it even highlights which breed in in the mix is the one that can get it so where he had got like two percent shih tzu in him this is obviously not going to be a massive worry but it's still there if that makes sense okay so then looking at alfie's traits so there is 39 different genetic trait tests that they pulled 
so let's have a look so we found two special cult color genes in alfie's dna so fawn and recessive red he is definitely a fawn so they've got that right and now that i haven't posted a picture of alfie they've had to completely rely on the dna which is really nice to see okay so they're moving on cult patterns uh saddle tan and piebald it doesn't have either one of those uh, cult length and curl long hair yeah he definitely has long hair and it's one of those cults that sheds everywhere and it ends up up in our noses in our eyeballs literally everywhere we just can't escape the hair anymore hairlessness genetically it's unlikely that alfie is hairless <laughs> shedding bad news for your vacuum alfie is likely a heavy shedder yes he is he really really is it's honestly everywhere luckily my other half really likes brushing him so i don't have to worry about any of that so i've got all of that covered but yeah there's hair literally everywhere now with bean because he's got dark hair and i keep it really short it's never been an issue but with alfie yeah yeah it's everywhere and then they found one additional special cult gene uh, which is furnishings yeah he's got beautiful beautiful feather rings and i love them he has got that typical round bum fluff that pomeranians have and i love it okay ideal weight range is between five and eight kilos he when we got him he was about four and i think he is really skinny at the minute like i can still feel quite a lot of his bones when i just hold him so i definitely want to fatten him up a little bit but he's only about seven months old so there's no rush with it we'll get there eventually okay so then going on to head shape so short snout variant one short and snout he doesn't have a long snout at all so i think that is pretty spot on eye color either brown or amber he has got really deep brown eyes they just look like buttons and they're really cute ears alfie has jeans for more upright or prick ears at the minute they sort of stand up when he's running or looking up which is really cute and then every now and then one of them sticks up so it will be interesting to see if they do actually stand up on their own or if they stay floppy like they are now i would love to have him with pointed ears because they would look really cute they are really big and really hairy at the end so i'd i'd love for him to have pointed ears more body features uh short legs slightly shortened legs yeah he is a bit sort of stubby it's not a problem i don't think we'll have to get him like ramps or anything but he's he's very compact in size so yeah i think that is pretty accurate on that and now because i'm a perfectionist i can actually add a picture of alfie on here and then it will just look all nice and neat but that is all really interesting information like i wasn't expecting him to be that kind of cross i knew the pom was in there and the maltese really makes sense i was waiting for the yorkie to pop up in there but i guess not that's what i really love about crossbreeds because you just don't know what's in them and then when you start sort of digging deeper and looking into it something completely weird pops up and it's so fun obviously it doesn't change how i feel about alfie he's absolutely wonderful and he has settled into the family so well and he's getting more and more confident every single day we're just about to start tackling his on lead behavior we have got a behaviorist coming next week so it'd be really great to see how he develops from there and i just want to watch his confidence grow and for him to become this beautiful all-rounded little man that i know he can be but thank you so much for watching this video guys what did you think about his breed mixture did you get it right did you guess at the start of the video and like i said with bean's video i'm more than happy to start sort of experimenting with a different kit so i know there's embark which is very popular so if you guys want to see that i might test both the boys at the same time with embark and see how different the results are between wisdom panel and embark so i think that'd be a really cool thing to do so let me know if you'd like to see that video but thank you so much for watching do give the video a little thumbs up because as usual it does help out my channel so much and if you haven't already maybe consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss my next video bye guys